Welcome. We often get asked how Zebrium Zelk Stack Machine Learning compares to native machine learning for Elasticsearch. Let me show you. In our production Atlassian environment, we shut down the Postgres database, and this caused the Jira application to fall over. We sent the logs to our Elastic Stack cluster, which has been configured to also work with Zelk Stack. There were no rules configured in either Elastic or Zelk. This is what Zebrium's machine learning uncovered and presented in a Kibana Canvas dashboard, a single clear incident, SQL exception due to administrator command. And when I click the details button, you can see over here in syslog that Postgres was stopped. This is the root cause. And then a few seconds later, you see that Jira was impacted trying to connect to the database. These are the symptoms. To achieve this, we did absolutely nothing. No rules, no pre-training, no special configuration. Now, let's look at the exact same data set using Elastic's native machine learning anomaly detection. For this, I set up three machine learning jobs to try and see what happened. The first uses machine learning to look at the log ingest rate. It picked up a few things. The yellow dot is actually where the problem occurred. The orange one is unrelated but it's hard to tell that just from this. The next job uses machine learning to categorize log events. You then define a time bucket size and it looks for anomalous counts of event categories in each time bucket. The y-axis shows the event categories and the x-axis is the timeline. Note that there are a few pages of results. You might be tempted to start looking where there is the most red, but actually, the problem occurred around this time, where it found three anomalous event categories. If you click on each example, you'll see that it didn't pick up the root cause or the symptoms of the problem. The third job also uses ML categorization, but this time it looks for rare event categories per time bucket. Initially, I used the default bucket size of one hour, but it didn't show anything useful. So I tried again with a time bucket of 15 minutes. Here's what it produced. The orange time is actually where the problem occurred. At this time, it found almost 300 rare event categories. And only because I took the time to look at each one did I eventually find that ML category number 102 is actually the root cause of our problem. So how does Zebrium ML compare to Elastic ML? This used to be best in class but it requires a lot of human interpretation. Now you can do this, directly see problems and their root cause right inside the Elastic Stack. Thanks for watching.